Do you play piano? Do you play classical music? Have you ever heard the expression that you need to play Bach? Music from the composer Johann Sebastian Bach? Well, in this video, we are going to talk about that, if this is true and why. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ilse Lozoya. I'm a pianist, online teacher and music educator, and all the years that I spent at the university playing you know, classical music, I always heard this expression that you need to play Bach. Chances are that if you have been playing for a while classical music, maybe you have already played music from this composer. This composer, very famous, I'm going to tell you why it is so important, because yes, I have to tell you, you need to play music from this composer, you need to play Bach. Why? Maybe you have heard this. Maybe you have already played this. <laughs> the reality is that this composer, uh, he belonged to the Baroque. Uh, his music is from the Baroque uh, period of classical music and it is so important because uh, uh, Baroque music has polyphony and polyphony means that you're not going to play only melody in one hand and companions in the other. You're going to have two or more melodies at the same time. Yes! So uh, it is really, really important when we study music from this, not only from this composer, but from this uh, uh, period of time, uh, from the Baroque, or literally when we study, our brain has to make a bigger effort uh, or because we have to uh, read more notes uh, it's a different melodies and each hand is going to play uh, different melodies sometimes it's the same but you, you are like having a conversation that's the reality and that makes us really uh, read and think and really uh, practice we have to practice this in a very in a better way we have to really know the piece that we are studying and that's why it's challenging sometimes can be a little bit confusing because it's it feels easier to play melody in one hand and accompaniments with, uh, with the other hand only you know melody and chords for example and this is very common in many types of music but in this case uh, playing this type of music, it's so recommended because it's really going to make us think and read more. And when you study, it is absolutely necessary that you do it in the correct way. If you do not study, you know, the process of uh, study all those pieces is correct, you're going to uh, keep having a lot of mistakes. So if you get to the point to play a piece from this composer without mistakes, that's a huge uh, uh, achievement, believe me. Of course, there are different pieces. Some are easier than others because this composer, he composed many, many tons of, actually thousands of pieces from many levels. And I have to tell you, if you didn't know, Bach didn't compose music for the piano. Why? Because in this period of music, uh, there were no piano. Only you have, you know, the organ and you have the, the clavier, you have the harpsichord, uh, well, uh, the harpsichord, and it was not the piano that, as the instrument that we know, right? Actually, the type of instrument uh, didn't have that sound, you couldn't play with dynamics, it was very, a very different instrument but it was a keyboard, it has a keyboard, it was a key, keyboard instrument, that's why, uh, and it's uh, because all the pieces are so, so good, that's why all the repertoire has been uh, used through many years when we practice piano, we play piano. So yes, you need to play back. I truly totally recommend you to go over the easiest, uh, the ACS books, uh, the Anna Magdalena Bach, it's a, a, a series of compositions that he, he composed actually, uh, and they are very good, not extremely difficult, so it's a very good way to start playing back. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And also, if you're a pianist, I have a, a something for you. I'm offering you a free mini course. You can check the link in the description of this video. A very easy, you know, mini course where you're going to uh, learn some exercises, excellent warm-up exercises that you can practice in a very easy routine before your daily playing. So you can check that in the description of this video. Thank you, thank you for being part of this community. My name is Silsilo Soya and I'll see you in another video.